Welcome to the Cedar Solar DC pump range installation video. In the box you will find a pump and motor, a controller also known as a control box, a well sensor, PV modules also known as PV panels, spare rotor also referred to as a worm, 2.5 mm twin core cable for your sensor, solar cable and MC4 connectors, instruction and warranty manual, and a pump sleeve. The extras needed include submersible cable, polyprop rope, pipe fittings, solar cable, pipe, PV sticks, ferrules, splice kit, a base plate and a panel frame. The tools needed for a successful installation include a Phillips screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, pliers, insulation tape, crimper, cable ties. A multimeter is optional. Wiring diagram. Everything gets connected to your controller, so your PV panels positive and negative, your pump, your tank sensor which is optional and your well or borehole sensor which is required to ensure that your pump doesn't run dry. You connect your panels in the following configurations. Only use these configurations otherwise your warranty will be void. If a panel is in series with another one, you connect the positive of one panel with the negative of the next panel. You then take the remaining positive and negative at the end of the string and connect that to your control box. Connecting your pump. The colors of the wires are different, so you need to label wire one, two, and three from your pump and then connect them to your submersible cable. Make sure you label them and write down how you connect them. Otherwise you might make a mistake when you connect them later to the control box. After crimping them and connecting them you use your cable joint or splice kit to create a waterproof connection. Next you tie your rope to the pump and then you connect your sensor 20 to 30 centimeters above the pump and you can tie it to the pipe with a cable tie. After securing your sensor with insulation tape and a cable tie you can Use a cable tie to connect your well sensor, submersible cable and pipe together every meter. Keep your rope loose. Your pump then goes into your pump sleeve. The pump sleeve helps with turbulence and to keep out dirt. The pump sleeve will go into the borehole. But before you do that, it is a good idea to test your system in a drum filled with water just to check that everything is working fine before submerging into the borehole. The control box is usually mounted on a pole close to your panels. The control box should never be mounted in direct sunlight. Before connecting your wires, always make sure that your control box is switched off. First we will connect the, sub the wires from the submersible cable which is connected to your water pump. Remember the 1, 2, 3? Well, as you can see on the PC board, it is numbered 1, 2, 3 and you connect the wires accordingly. After that you are going to 
connect your well sensor this sensor has to be installed if it is not installed the warranty is void this sensor helps your pump to not run dry it is connected to the COM1 WH port on the right lastly you connect your solar positive and negative these are the two wires that are coming from your solar panels your tank sensor is optional and uses COM2 and TH the tank sensor can be installed at the top of your tank which reaches off the pump when the tank is full your speed can be adjusted if you get too much water you can turn down the speed of the pump to decrease the flow your timer works with your well sensor if your water level drops below the well sensor and the well sensor will switch off the pump to keep it from running dry and then you can use your timer to indicate how long it should take before it switches on again when all the wires are connected you can switch to solar and your system light should come on next your pump light should come on and you wait for 30 seconds and then your MPPT light should start flashing if this happens it means you have a successful installation and the water should start flowing if you are struggling with the installation do not hesitate to contact our technical team who will guide you through the installation 